Hello and welcome, my name is Corey. I'm with my mum Debbie. We are here at Blenheim Palace to come and experience their light trail today. It's already very festive, we've made ourselves inside the grounds. They've got projections going on all over the palace. It's absolutely gorgeous so far. So we're gonna be going around inside the palace to experience the story of Sleeping Beauty and then going around the light trail. Now, they are two different experiences which you do have to pay for. Uh, you can do one without the other as well, but we're gonna do both of them and see if it's worth the cost because they're about around 30 pounds each. Uh, we booked it today though so it was a little more expensive but you do get an annual pass if you if you class it as a donation when you buy it so that's also a bonus as well on your way out you can just pick up an annual pass although it doesn't give you free entry for next year's event it'll just give you a slight discount but we'll, we'll check it all out and let you know I was going to say as well what I like about Blenheim Palace is that every single year they do something new so if you come this year and then come next year you're gonna have two completely different experiences so that'll be pretty cool to see this year's version and keep you uh, in the loop of everything that we see. You gotta love the projections on the castle, but we're just gonna go on and head in inside. Uh, this is where the entrance is to the Sleeping Beauty experience. Pretty. <laughs> Storybook adventure. The history. It's all very eerie in here. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a heart attack. Okay, yeah, so it's uh, quite quiet in here at the minute, but this is what we're kind of seeing for the Sleeping Beauty walkthrough. It's all so Christmassy, very quiet. You can just hear the echoes, <laughs> but I'm sure as time goes on, it will all pick up a lot more and get a lot busier. But so far, I mean, we've come, like I said, a little bit late on to be fair. I mean, we're here at seven o'clock and it's really quite quiet and it's a Saturday as well so it's quite surprising but I'm not complaining perfect photo opportunities in the story of Sleeping Beauty you of course have the Wicked Fairy Carabos so you've definitely got this whole kind of themed area definitely worked hard here and then you've got all the artwork over in this room as well so it's definitely a lot to see. I can just see straight down the bottom there. Look how amazing that looks. As I said, it's all very quiet in here. So, I mean, it's a walkthrough attraction. So I suppose it just depends on how fast you walk compared to other people or how slow. So you could end up just being quite fluent and just go through without encountering anyone. So that's pretty cool though. For a second then, I thought someone was sleeping on the job. <laughs> Is it too much to ask that my house gets decorated like this every year? I know, look at it, look, it's a gingerbread man. <laughs> oh, Christmas. They've got these fun little activities over here as well. So you, uh, if you've got children or even, to be, or even a mother that likes to uh, find the mice, you can go and uh, spot the mice or the sleeping animals in the rooms that are just hiding around. And you're very interested in it. <laughs> I'm trying to move on to a, <laughs> trying to move on to another room, and suddenly it's like, oh no, I'm still trying to find the mice. <laughs> That's a so yeah, they're just all kind of scattered about. So it gives you something to do as well whilst you're looking around at the lights and all of the pretty decorations. The theming, I think. What makes it better as well is the fact that even without any of this stuff, you've got the actual palace's decoration all around it, all of the photo frames, so it just appears to be, I mean, even if you just look up at the ceiling there, it is all very elegant. So even without any of this decoration, it's already extremely beautiful and elegant, so it just makes it seem like you've got double the amount of elegance. But it really is something to behold. And there's Sleeping Beauty herself. Well, I think this one's up to me, Mum. It's got to be Prince Charming, right? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> As I said, the history here is just... <laughs> sometimes I find myself looking away from the Christmas stuff to, uh, to see everything that's behind it. Definitely an interesting... Definitely interesting. We've just noticed that they also have a live actor over there, Princess Aurora. It's either that or someone's coming in a dress and <laughs> just going around taking pictures of people. <laughs> Who knows? 
But yes, they've got a live actor in here as well, so you can grab yourself a picture with Princess Aurora. It's very high class, don't you? I feel very out of place. They have the projections on the inside as well, so that's pretty cool. Empty bed. My time to shine. The door just opened for her and she certainly seemed quite high and mighty about it. Oh look, the door opened right for me. Well that's it. Now we're back out here in front of the palace. Looking over everything. All right, review time. If you walk at a fair pace, you're gonna get done in there in about five minutes. I, it's hard to say whether I think it was worth the price because coming into historic palaces like this generally come at a cost anyway, but around 30 pounds for that. It was very pretty and it was very interesting to see everything that was going on there. But for me, any anyway, for me, it wasn't worth it. But for other people that just want to see inside, it can be worth it. So it's a very, what, what do you think? I loved it because I'm very girly <laughs> and everything was pink and I like the story. Yes. And I like the activities, like finding the mice. It can, it can keep you busy and it, like I said, if you walk at a reasonable pace, you'll get done quite quick. But if you're stopping to, you know, take your pictures, get a good look, you know, 10, 15, you could probably stretch about 20 minutes in there. But if you're walking just kind of straight round, just having a quick look, you know, five minutes and you'll be done. We're gonna start making our way over to the light trail, but we're gonna stop off and see what else is around for now. But that, very pretty, overpriced for me. So we've come on into this area. You're directed in here by signs that say make a wish and you'll be greeted by this tree here where you can come and pick up some ribbons and just tie it on and make a wish. So it says here as well, Make a wish in the spirit of our story to tie your hopes and dreams of our mag on our magical wishing tree. A symbol of peace, love and kindness shared for all eternity. Which is kind of cute, I must admit. You know, you just come and, uh, come and tie on your own ribbon, make a wish. I like how it's just different projections across the palace all night. With the experience where the Churchill and the stable signs are, that's exactly where you'll find the light trail. And that's where we're going to be heading in just a moment, but for now, we're just going to head on back and see this Christmas market that they've got going on. You know what, it actually does go on for quite a bit. They've got yeah. traditional sweets, they've got... Oh look, they've, they've got blown glass, I believe that is. This is all handmade stuff, this is So yeah, this is sort of like handmade stalls and all that kind of stuff that they've got here. Beat the price in Greece! Where, where we on, to? Dining set. Why do you walk out of the palace with a... with a garden Hi. set? <laughs> Interesting. And it does actually go on for quite some time. And the interesting part about this is that you don't even need any sort of admission to get in. You can just come to the palace for this market. It's completely free of charge to come to this section. It's just the, the Sleeping Beauty experience and the light trail that's cost the extra. The market just goes round and round. It's just so many different things here. Some quite pricey, some fair price. If like us you booked your story of the Sleeping Beauty separate to the light trails, completely different times, this is a great way to kill some time. Just have a little look around, see what's around. It's really cute. I like it. So just finished that market. It's all right, isn't it? It's, it's a great way to kill a bit of time. Some beautiful handmade gifts on there. Oh yeah. Very beautiful. Lots of food. Definitely, yeah. It's, it, and it's quite large, to be fair, for, you know, it's not what I was expecting, anything that big. I saw a few stores, I was just like, oh, that, that's the market, and it just kept going round and round. <laughs> and as you're into the entrance, you've got four rides which you can choose from, which you'll just go and get tokens, which you can also get online before whilst you're booking your tickets. So they've got the carousel over there, they've got like a mini carousel as well, swing boats, and then a Helter Skelter as well. Every one of these projections I am all here for, they are so cool. Love it. Well, I just made our way through and already that is, that's so cool. I love it. Everything's just dancing around. So as soon as you enter the light trail, this is what we've been greeted with. That is amazingly gorgeous. I love it. You've got a Christmas tree over there. There's a light tunnel. Pretty cliche, but <laughs> gonna go for it anyway. But even the trees are lit up, and yeah, it just looks really, really nice. I can already hear the glee in the background. <laughs> That's definitely a glee version. Like Christmas. 
I mean, we've been here for two minutes, if that, and we're just loving this already. A wonderland the other day, a light trail today. I'm loving it so far. I think a yearly trip to Blenheim Palace has got to be our new tradition for Christmas. Oh, just definitely. If you love Glee, you're going to love it here because they've just got the Glee soundtrack to whack that on. But even this tree in the background here, look how cool that is. Well, I'm, I'm going to nickname this the Tree of Life. I like how they just take the normal stuff that they have in their gardens and just pop some extra Christmas decorations on. Just, yep, yeah, that'll work, that'll work. <laughs> even gone the extra mile and popped some extra lights to on the floor for you to just stroll on over. They're all down this path. If this isn't festive, I don't know what is. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why does Santa have free gardens? Oh, and it's going to tell... Oh, that's so cool. So he can ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I love how you just have the crackers and then it's got the cracker jokes. <laughs> I can already say after doing probably about a quarter of this, it's already better than the story of Sleeping Beauty. Although there was a lot of cool things within the palace, I just love this. It just feels so magical. So amazing. <laughs> and on your way around, if you get a bit faster, they've even got a bar right there where you can just have a little stop off. As much as I love my Halloween events, I think Christmas is just the best time of year. Roxy is the one for Halloween. I'm the one for Christmas. <laughs> So much going on. Honestly, I think this is a great place to come as a family because, or even just, you know, as me and my mum are here, you know, as adults, you know, it's just a great place for, that like, could just, <laughs> it just fills you with wonder and it's just enjoyable. Something as simple as lights. <laughs> but no, it's just very, very cool. Just the same as the story of Sleeping Beauty experience, this was about 25 to 30 pounds, I think. Um, but this, I think, is, you know, worth it. About to go for our first tunnel of light now. How pretty. And it changes. Lovely. <laughs> Perfect. Woo! We're just hearing the same song playing again. And <laughs> if you hear the same song go round again, you've been there too long. <laughs> Do you think it could have been from all the million pictures we just took in the light tunnel? <laughs> now we're just heading through this area. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still just laughing because I just said we're, we're probably about a quarter of the way now. <laughs> Mum's just, oh god, I need a wheelchair then. <laughs> it all moves around. <laughs> wow. And it's not just the lights, they've also got water jets. Oh yeah. That's awesome. Wow, look at that going on back there. So I'd actually say this is probably around the halfway point because they do have some food and drink options here. Whilst you can look at the, the water show going off there, it's not like a set show for with different times where they'll have different shows, but it's just constant. So there's you can always come and have a look. And it's just so cool. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> wow. So cool. <laughs> it was so we, we, we just kept standing there going, wow. <laughs> we just got so much footage of that because we just couldn't move on. That was just I didn't expect that for, for like from this light trail to be honest. You've won us over. You've won us over. And if you think all the water displays over, think again because right next to where they've got the fountain is just there. They've also got this gorgeous waterfall. Go! Wow! <laughs> I just want gardens like this where people can come along and TikTok and vlog. I mean, it's, am I really asking for much? 
I mean, I like this kind of how it kind of skims around the lake because there's a great big lake here, but I feel like it's a bit of a missed opportunity to get just lights all around and just really make the entire thing light up. Such a missed opportunity that, but <laughs> everything else is looking awesome. I love that it says Elford Sleigh Centre just back there and then they've got the sleighs and <laughs> I love it. Oh, and even projections on the floor. I love how they're making use of the projections, the water cannons, the lights. It's, it's just, and you're just immersed in it all. Ah! <laughs> now all the candles in the sky. <laughs> I mean, I'm loving the length of it. It's this really long. You're not. <laughs> you hate me for this. <laughs> she wanted a wheelchair about three miles ago, to be honest. <laughs> oh wow, it's just it's very, very immersive. <laughs> Making use of the rope. <laughs> With all the walking and the types of terrain that you'll be going on, make sure you wear suitable footwear. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> wish I would have told you that before. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's a bunch of Santa's letters on the tree. No, of course I didn't write to Santa. <laughs> yep, Santa's letter. 123 Elf Road, North Pole. That's my letter right there. <laughs> Oh look, there's Roxy's. Oh, I think he could probably throw that in the bin. He's been hearing what she's been saying about him. <laughs> I love that because they've got like the uh, the screens in the windows as well. Oh, you can't really, you're not. There we go. You can see on the camera. But yeah, they, they've got the screens in the windows as well <laughs> with the reindeers on the inside. I love that. And then they've got all the letters coming in off of the Santa Mail sleigh straight on in. Oh my god. <laughs> They just got them dancing in the window now. <laughs> that post office was such a cool feature. <laughs> we, we just love that. It was, I really like that actually. Yeah, especially the part where it just started playing music and then they just started roboting and dancing in the window. <laughs> that was so cool. But well, we're nearing the end now. Wow, 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 wow. The entire time we've just been getting in everyone's way during their fire off duties. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like the exit. <laughs> oh, and here we go. There's Santa. <laughs> Did you hear, Mum? Father Christmas! <laughs> Hello, Santa. <laughs> I got a picture with Santa. <laughs> he was just behind here, just like, hello, right, that's it, I'm coming around. You're doing selfies, I'm joining in. <laughs> I can just see it's snowing. It's pretty hard to see on the camera, but they've got they've got uh, snow a snow machine going on. And it's, oh, there you can see it in, uh, in the light just back there. But yeah, they've got like a snow machine going on, so that's so cool. And then they've got Santa doing... <laughs> doing their own, his own little photo op. And after our little photo op with Santa, that is the end of the trail. I love it. So yes, be mindful that if you've got one of the later times into the trail, you may come back out and the Christmas market may be closed. So make sure you do all of that stuff before you go in, if you've got one of the later times, or just be prepared that it will be closed for when you come out. Any event that I come out of smiling is an event I'd absolutely recommend doing. And that light trail, I would recommend doing. It was very, very long. So make sure you wear the right footwear. But if you're like me and my mum, who likes to take a ton of pictures, you're gonna be in there for, oh, I mean, we were in there, what, an hour and a half? Yeah. So a bit, quite a long time. So you're gonna spend quite a long time doing it. And I loved every minute of it. It started off, you know, immediately, you just got lights everywhere and just like, oh. And then you just get further around and there's just more, you just feel more immersed as the further you get in. The, the story of Sleeping Beauty, as much as, you know, as I said, it was beautiful and very, it was just, it lacked a lot for me, to be honest. Good for kids. Good for kids, good, yeah, good for a younger audience. And to be fair, I mean, if you've never seen Inside the Palace, it might be worth doing, but for the cost, 
it's not worth it. The, the cost of the light trail, absolutely worth it. Uh, you know, that that's something I would absolutely do again. And with the annual pass that you can get, if you class your ticket cost as a donation, you can come back next year at a slightly reduced price. So that's always a bonus. But yeah, no, I think overall that's been a very good night out. What did you say? I, no, I loved the light trail. It was great. There was a lot of steep hills and going down as well. But you came to see Santa at the end. We met Santa. <laughs> that was a highlight of mine. And it was brilliant because, you know, he was just behind his little, like in front of his little house and, and then suddenly he just saw a, a swarm of people taking pictures and he was just like, that's it. I'm coming out. Time for selfies. <laughs> So yeah, no, overall, I'd recommend it. Sleeping Beauty, mm, not for me. I, lo I did like it. Yeah, <laughs> but was it worth the money? Uh, no, in all honesty, no. Um, I don't know what the family ticket prices are, but it's definitely very girly themed, I'd say, um, which we actually heard other people say as well, come on, as we were walking in. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I enjoyed it, and I liked the little activities where you had to search for the mice and the sleeping animals and things but quite interactive in there yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it definitely was so it's definitely keep the kids entertained but i think the trail is just it's long but it's just amazing yeah it's just so many things to see mm -hmm. so really festive that. yeah but yeah anyway we're gonna be back next year absolutely this is our new tradition <laughs> <laughs> but anyway thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you stay up to date with all of my future content thank you very much take care and I will see you in the next one. Bye.